Hey everybody, welcome back to the Super Thomas Bros. Uh, uh what? Whoa, whoa. Uh, uh, Steven okay. is about to tackle this scary room with a big uh, fire stick. Yeah. Ooh, All right. Smooth criminal. Uh, well, I gotta. Never, never mind. You fucked it up. Yeah. Right. Well. Yeah. All right. It was because <laughs> well, I. Well. Yeah. I can't argue. Yeah, I think I had mentioned in a um another episode that when I get the the uh, the fully you know upgraded sword like the best one you could just slice through the pots and that's super oh really convenient yeah that's pretty cool yeah I think that's level four and I'm at level three right now with my sword so kind of doesn't make a lot of sense like in real life I could probably break a pot with a really blunt sword yeah probably so it would actually get with it Nintendo yeah. Wouldn't it be, like, the blunter, the better, or... Oh! <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, that, that, would, I don't like that, that was a roller coaster for me. Uh, uh, gotta align yourself perfectly with these stairs. Uh, I guess I can here, here, okay. Yeah, so, and, like, the ground is super slippery, so... And there we go. Yeah. That's not too bad, I guess. All right. So at the end, so at the end of the last episode, I had oh god, that thing's coming out. Yeah. Oh sweet Jesus. <laughs> uh, that the um, I mentioned that I didn't have anything to make drinks with. Um, I have uh, I had the materials to make a white Russian actually. Ooh. So I am drinking a delicious Caucasian. Aha. Uh, I won't go in there yet, but I'll go in here. Oh oh um. <laughs> So, uh, I was, so speaking of, speaking of from the last episode, um, I, I was commenting, uh, with, uh, Greg Gold, the guy that I, I gave a shout out to last episode, um, he mentioned something about them making another Big Lebowski movie. Oh, really? Or something like that. I haven't looked into it. I don't really know the details or I haven't heard anything really. And by the time this episode comes out, you know will know more yeah about whether or not that's like true or not not that he would give me bullshit but you know i don't really know so um so that that would be really interesting if they did that but uh you know i, I really hope that uh if they do it you know the same people are involved yeah it's like because it was a, like it was a, a coen brothers movie right that was yeah yeah that's my favorite Coen Brothers movie. Yeah, definitely for me. Uh, yeah, there you go. yeah, that was a, like, a classic movie for me, uh, Big Lebowski. Yeah. And and also maybe another Spaceballs. Yeah, I heard about that too. Um, oh really? Yeah, I think I did. I forgot. I think my mom said something about it. Oh God. I mean, if they do that, like, is Rick Moranis gonna be in it? Because he hasn't been in a movie, like, f in forever. Yeah, I think the last movie that he was in was Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves. <laughs> I th I, actually, I think that that was, might have been his last, like, you know, movie. I, th I think I remember you telling me that, which is, I, I don't know if that's amazing or really, like, sad. Yeah, like, that's like, you oh, know. You miss that guy. Yeah. Because Rick Moranis is great, um, oh, but yeah. um, who the hell oh, is Rick Moranis? <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh Jesus! Uh, okay. So, um, my biggest thing I have to get now is the big key, and this temple has kind of like a lot of repetition. Like you kind of have to cover a lot of the same ground uh, more than once, or I think maybe sometimes like three times, or more okay. if you don't quite know where everything is but um ooh. it's like the water temple for me yeah fuck ass do not use all your magic power if you do not possess the medicine of magic now get ready to go into the depths of this dungeon okay. you know if you have that power wrestling, to just tell me like you know oh be careful up in the next room you know it gets crazy uh. whoa um you, you would think that he has the power to tell you, like, hey, go go to the right. Go, you know, yeah. like, the, the, the fucking key is in that room. It's, you know, that thing is in that room. 
It seems yeah. kind of fucked up. Maybe he actually works with Ganon, and I don't know. Oh shit, he's like undercover. Yeah, right. Pulling a Lance Vance situation from GTA Vice City. Bringing that back. Uh, whoa, whoa. Oh yeah. god, just run for it. Yeah, right. I think, uh... Well, never mind. I might come back to that room again. Um, and if I do, I think there's something else that, um... Like, there's a strategy to that. Oh. Uh, so what's the, uh, thing in this, in this temple? What's the, uh, treasure? Oh, it's, uh, another tunic. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not that great either. Oh, uh, crap, I forgot. You know what I should have gotten before I did this temple? I should have gotten the, uh, uh, magic cape, because that would be perfect for right now. Uh, oh. just to get across the spikes. Um... So what does the new temple do? A uh, temple. What does the new tunic do? It, like, raises your defense. But, That's stupid. Yeah. It's kind of the, you know... It's, like, the, not the, the best, you know, prize of a temple, you know? It's like you, you beat the temple, and then the, you know, um... Maiden or whatever that you save at the very end. It's like thank you for saving me and you're kind of like yeah I you know, I guess it was worth it. <laughs> yeah, right Like I guess you're welcome, you know, I gotta <laughs> say I'm not super enthused Oh man, how am I gonna get out of this room right here? Can you think of maybe some way I could get out? You should go to that statue up at the top left and pull on his dick. Oh, oh, that also works. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you pull. I I probably already did that in this game, pulling the the statue's tongue. Yeah, you have. Okay, because I thought for a moment that I didn't, and so that was a. Uh, Wait, know, can you get out that way? Up. You, yeah, yeah. 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 This is how that, you get out. Does that help? Like, I mean. Yeah, I think so. I well, because um. Actually, I don't know what... Because there was another door back there, right? Like, if I went down here... Maybe oh, there I don't, wasn't. I don't oh, no, there wasn't. Attention. I don't think there was. So, yeah, I think this is the only way to get out. You'd have to go here. Remember that room I was talking about? And I said, like, I think I come back here later and I come out? Yeah. Yeah, so this is where it leads you back out. And But now I have... Yeah, I remember you being here. Yeah. Because uh, okay. the room on the left is that weird cross-shaped room. Yeah. Fuck these guys. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Alright, yeah, um... Yeah, this one. Yeah, so now, basically, because now I have the big key, um, I could drop down in another area with that has the, the big treasure chest. And, um, you know... Oh, and do you have to go into that pit in the middle? Yeah. So, basically, oh. I'm just, like, repeating at, you know, at this point. I just have to... Like, remember that room that I was in? I blew the pit up, and then, like, it was butters on the left side of the room. Yeah. I think it was earlier in this episode, yeah. Um, I basically have to go back in there. But instead of dropping in, in on the pit on the right, I go to the one that I blew up. Right. So. Cool, well. Yeah. I guess, uh... Guess that's about to happen. I'm excited. You also <laughs> killed that jellyfish. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Whoa. Uh, Alright. That was that was weird. Uh do I have to kill these oh, god I do. Okay. Chicka, 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 chicka. Well, at least now I know where the skeletons are. Yeah. Kinda looks like papyrus from did you mention that earlier? No. Oh. Uh well anyway, these skeletons, they kinda look like papyrus from uh, Undertale. Oh god. I've been watching the genocide playthrough of uh for on Steam Train. Oh yeah. Of Undertale. God fuck. <laughs> I've only got I, I forgot what episode I'm on. I, I don't think it, I'm. Whatever yet. episode you're on, it gets worse. <laughs> oh me. god damn it. God, Steven. I hope you could hear me breathing. I I, I... good. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Not no. <laughs> I killed too much. <laughs> Spend too much time trying to pick a pot up. What's a skull? Whatever. I call them pots. They're. In, I think in the um dark world they're just skulls now. Yeah, but before they're pots, I always just call them pots. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
I call them skulls because they're skulls. Sure. Um, I call them weebles because they look like steebles. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, these penguins uh, fucking all they leave are magic things. I, I really don't need them. Like, yeah, God damn stupid penguins. <laughs> What's in What the fuck is in here? Probably a oh okay. Huh. I think I was that. Pro that probably could have been a shortcut. It probably could have, but I would have had to still go back a little ways, and then also oh. um I would have to go over those bed of spikes. So not like it it will it really mattered anyway because I probably got a lot more hurt. So wh whatever. Right. Ah. Yeah, I don't like those guys. All right. So um. So Jake j uh, gave me a birthday present today, or a birthday, a Christmas present. Oh yeah. Yeah, a very late birthday present. <laughs> or very oh, no. Sweet. A very early birthday present, but a very, it's still kind of a, a late Chris Christmas gift, especially at the time that this episode might come out. And I, I don't know when it will, but like, uh, like a week from now, maybe something like that, mm. maybe more. Yeah, anyway, so what's the Any, anyway? So he they got it was it's actually like Erica. So so Jake's wife got me a book, but they both they both it's a it's a gift from both of them. But it's a book. It's ninety seven ways to make a cat like you, <laughs> and the tagline is it is possible. <laughs> so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and read the back cover of it. Okay. Are you in a one-sided relationship with your cat? Are your loving advances met with blank stares? Here to change that predictable dynamic are 97 inspired, often silly, but truly fun for you and your pet, tricks and games guaranteed to put owners on a direct path into their cat's heart. Based on scientific understanding of cat behavior, the book includes The Headbutt, the hide and seek, and the ever useful cat burrito. Huh. Needless to say, this is the greatest Christmas present I've ever received in my life. <laughs> Let's read a couple. Number 37, your trash, my treasure. Crinkle a newspaper or some junk mail, scrunch it into a ball, and toss it across the room for Kitty to bat and torture. Huh. Salad days, number 26. Plant some cat grass and let kitty graze. Cats like the roughage, and it and it also helps dissolve the hairballs in their bellies. That's a fun fact. It is very fun. I saw one that was like... Oh, God, fuck, what was it? I gotta find it now. God damn it. I gotta find it now! Uh, this is- yeah, this leads me to another fairy fountain. My it's like, okay, son. number- number 45. Never say no. Use positive reinforcement when training your cat. Redirect unwanted behavior, much as you would a toddler. Take the cat into an approved room, show him an acceptable scratch pad, put him in a clean litter box, always love and adoration. It's like that- that- no. The person who wrote this book does not have a fucking cat. <laughs> Every cat I've ever interacted with in my life can be a real fucking asshole, no matter how much you try to, like, positive reinforcement them. Uh-huh. That's positive with a W, by the way. Oh. But, um... Oh. It also said, Note, cats do not understand punishment. Telling him no in a harsh voice, giving him a swat, or squirting him with a water gun won't teach him anything other than that you can be mean. It's like, that's, that's not true at all. <laughs> Our cat knows to run away when he sees the squirt bottle come Oh, yeah. <laughs> but seriously, like... Well, I mean, like, you know, it's a fun gift. I like it. I'm gonna read through them. But, uh... Some of them are, are not so, really... uh, Some of them are probably not Jackson Galaxy approved. <laughs> you know, let's let's just, you know... I mean, you don't hit your cat, you know, I'm not saying hit your cat, but I think cats do learn 
If cats didn't learn through negative reinforcement, they wouldn't have evolved. <laughs> It's That's every fucking animal and creature in the goddamn world understands negative re- probably more than positive reinforcement. Uh, yeah, I think though, uh, I remember I took a psychology class, so I'm a certified doctor now. But, um, right. or slash therapist. And, sure. um, I've learned that positive reinforcement usually has a better effect only because, like, you know... Usually, like, negative reinforce. I, I, I guess this, it's more in terms of, like, you know, oh, no. raising a kid. Oh, I, no, I, I agree. I, I, I agree. Positive reinforcement always trumps negative, but, the, like, oh, the same how, how... Yeah, how do you, like, teach a cat that, like, you're rewarding it something, even if you're not specifically saying that it's, like, a reward? Or, you, you know, it's, it's sort of yeah, like... like, like you like, if you try to, t like, let's say you train your cat to not jump up on the table. Uh -huh. Something like that, right? How the fuck do you use positive reinforcement to do that? Yeah, it, it's it's kind of difficult sometimes. I think it's possible, maybe, like, in, in certain circumstances. But I think for the most part, with pets especially, it's usually, you know, negative, oh god, uh, negative reinforcement that... Well, it's not. It's not all. It's not well, mostly yeah. negative. I'm. Just, I'm just saying, like. Well, in the like, example, of, how? What? I was gonna say in the example of a cat jumping on a table, like you said, I don't really know how to like pos You know, use positive reinforcement to to tell the cat not to do that. But at the same time, I prob. You know, like. Uh, yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't really know. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Super Thomas Brothers. Cat psychologists. Yeah, but really I can bad. see it now on the marquees and billboards throughout the world. Watch them play video games and talk about pussy. <laughs> or um, whatever. Sure. <laughs> hey, kids. Watch our channel. What? Whoa, I almost spilled my drink. Ho ho! I'm like getting drunk and talking about cats while you play Zelda. My neighbors love me. Yeah. Well, I mean, just by the way, this is, like, what we normally do always. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm at the boss now. Um, uh, you know what? We're gonna say, oh, pause it, pause it. Oh. Next time on Super Thomas Bros. Okay. Sorry, everybody, cliffhanger, but we're gonna leave it at that. We will see you next time. Next time. Goodbye, and make sure to yell at your cat. Yeah. Because they speak English, and they don't want you to fucking know. Yeah. You can trust me. I'm a I'm a cat psychologist. Use your the water bottle on the cat. Not always when they're doing something bad, but if you're bored too. If you put bleach in the water bottle, it's super effective. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, but my cat died. <laughs> <laughs>